Welcome to Coffee and Connections with the Library Director. I'm Cindy Scott. The Wolfboro Public Library project is just about completed. We now are back to our regular pre-construction hours, which are Monday through Thursday, 9.30 to 8, Friday and Saturday, 9.30 to 5. We hope that you'll stop in and see the new facility, but we're going to do a little bit of a tour just to give you a taste of what's going on. This is our Cynthia Beaver room and it's a small conference room that will hold up to 26 people. We have the ability to project. We have a projector and a screen that comes down from the ceiling. This is my personal favorite room in the new library because I love the fact that we were able to keep the exterior brick wall in this room. Now a little bit further into the building, we are looking at the entryway to the new circulation desk. We are also in an area that is an after-hours area for use of meeting rooms after the library closes. The two larger meeting rooms, the restrooms, are all available for after-hour use. This area is the kitchenette that is available after hours as well for people who are doing programs in our two larger meeting rooms. This is the Helen Bradley meeting room and as you can see we're still using this to store some of the furniture and equipment that hasn't been installed completely yet. We hope to have this completely ready to go by the middle of March. This is our new children's room and we're really thrilled to have a separate area for the children and we've already had quite a crowd of people in here using the room. It's very popular. I think it's going to be one of the best things about the new library project. This circulation desk is the original circulation desk from when the library was in town hall. It's been refinished and restored and now we have it in our children's room. This is the stack area for all of the materials for adults and also you can see the extent of the new facility behind me um, going all the way to the children's area way far in the back. Staff of the library's offices start in the front corner of the building and run down along the wall. This is the local history and genealogy room and this room is going to be open to the public but some of the access to some of the materials in here which include postcards, books, and other kinds of documents are going to be limited because they're locked in either the closet or a case that has locks on it. So then you have to ask for staff access to those items. Sometimes you'll have to make an appointment if it's some of the materials that are very specialized. But you can use the room. It's a, it's a place to come in and do genealogy and family history research. This computer right here is going to have a, a dedicated genealogy software on it. We are now an affiliate library of Family Search, so this computer will be used for that. And the computer here on the right is actually a scanning system. We have a flat scanner as well as a, a feeding scanner and people can scan their photos and their documents with this equipment. You need to be trained on it and you can make an appointment at the circulation desk to get trained on that equipment. This is where we have our IT coordinator working out of and where we have all of our equipment. We have upgraded our technology quite a bit in this project and we're looking forward to using some of the new equipment in some of the programming that we're going to be doing this year. So one of the things that we have is a magazine collection. So it's in the front part of the library if you're looking for that. And always ask if you can't find something. We also have two small rooms that are for two-hour block usage that are going to be for doing tutoring, studying, Skyping, different things like that. We're still working on some of the details of how we're going to schedule these rooms, but shortly we'll be putting that together and we'll be able to uh, have people scheduling these meeting rooms for those usage. This one is the O'Rourke room and the one over here is the Ayers room. This area just near the circulation desk is where we have seating and we are putting all of the newspapers on the two tables that are in this area. We also have the new books on the wooden shelves behind this area. But again, everything in the library has moved recently, so if you're having trouble finding something, please ask. 
One of the new popular items that we have in the library is we have two little cafe tables near the circulation desk, and we also have coffee over on the counter here from the Keurig that the friends of the library provide to us. And uh, this is an area where we've seen a number of people chatting, reading newspapers, texting, and doing other kinds of things, and it's definitely an uh, area that looks like it needs to grow a little bit already. So that's the basic tour of the library. We'd be happy to take you around and show you where things are if you come in. We hope you'll stop by and see the new facility. And as we're working through the rest of the items that we get, that we need to get completed, furniture and other items, we will put together a grand opening to celebrate the new library.